Hi, and welcome back to Brew Me. Today, we're going to be exploring a little bit of Welton Burger Cluster Awesomebach. I don't really know what any of the words I just said actually mean. So, before we get any further, I'm going to take a little time to look up what a Bach is. Alright, according to Wikipedia, a Bach is a strong lager of German origin. German? I think we got that covered. Several substyles exist, including Maybach or Hellesbach, Doppelbach, a stronger and maltier version, and Eisbach. A much stronger version made by partially freezing the beer and removing the water ice that forms. That's interesting. Uh, it doesn't really say anything about Asambach. So what I'm going to do is drink it and find out. For starters, this is definitely one of those dark box that internet was talking about. You might have poured it with a little bit too much head. Huzzah! But, you know, I'm kind of an amateur at pouring out Welton Burger. So, you know, for, let it slide this time. Alright, as you can see, the head is clear. And, in the meantime, I have learned that this awesome Bach is actually a Doppelbach, which means I don't really know what it means. I don't really trust the Germans, and this kind of reaffirms my lack of trust. Just call it a Doppelbach. Let's taste it. That is a a tasty, thick beer. In fact, it's a little bit stronger than the usual Doppelbach that I've actually had, but it's not bitter. It actually almost reaches a Guinness sort of flavor, a sort of thickness that you'd find in a Guinness, like a stout. Now, a little bit of research has actually taught me that this Weltenberg, Weltenberger, Kloster, which I assume means cloister, is actually a monastery in Germany, which claims to be the oldest brewing monastery there is. In fact, the bottle says Site 1050, which I think means since... 1050, which would actually make it older than the Wahinstefaner Brewery, a brewery that typically claims to be the oldest in the world, which I think might now be in dispute by this whole Waltenberger thing. I don't know. I really can't understand most of the writing on the bottle. Strangely enough, the only things that are in England... England? The only things that are in English are the parts that talk about the government warning and the importing information and the cash deposit. Is that interesting? It's probably not really interesting. I have to say, I have tried the Wahinstefaner Corbinian Doppelbach and this Welton burger really just doesn't measure up to it. So it really throws into question the whole since 1050 AD aspect of this beer. Because if people were drinking this in 1050, and then later on this Wyden Stefaner thing came about, wouldn't everybody have just switched over? 
I would have. Maybe the monks felt some sort of loyalty or something. Whatever it was, this brewery is still around or they're liars. Who am I to judge? Doppel, 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 bock. But what I can't understand is drinking. And it tastes good, so I'm going to keep on drinking it.